Hello everyone, my name is Odinson. I was just starting the music. And this is Modern Minecraft, episode 37 of our Dial of 20 1.19 uh, Let's Play series. Um, we were building last episode the induction matrix to store power. Now, in the meantime, I had to put the flux plug on here because we needed our system. I figured out what I did wrong. This isn't meant to be hollow. I was missing an entire piece that I needed. Um, so I made all the little bits for it quickly. And now we're going to make it. I was missing the uh, third extra component, which is the induction provider. So um, I made all the bits. We've got plenty of lithium now, as you saw last episode. We're going to put that in there. And now we should be good. Now we should be good. So we're going to see. If I stick that in there, and then I go like that, and we're still not getting power because, I don't know, reasons? Maybe because that's on red and it's not meant to be on red now. Uh, break the reactor. Okay. Configurator. Maybe that's meant to be on green. Or there is another possibility. Yeah, I think I got it. Hold on. I think these ports need to be touching the provider, right? So if I... Do this and this. I think that might be right. One cell, one provider. Uh, we need to replace that pretty rapido. And then we need. No, we need to, that working? Yeah, okay. So the output ports need to be touched to the provider. Good to know. But now, if I change this one to output and stick the flux plug on it, the system is now getting power that it needs. <coughs> and this is filling rapido. Which is great. It's exactly what we needed. All right. So this thing will hold 3.2 giga forge energy. Forget millions. I'm talking billions, basically. Now it's going to burn for a whole load of eulorium to get to that point, but that's totally fine by me. Um, you've got a. That's one better than 24. No, that's not. Okay, cool. Induction matrix done. All right, say goodbye to that off the list. That, that, and that. All right, we're on to the mob thing for the rest of this episode. So I just wanted to get that done. Now we've got way more storage. We don't need this energy cube anymore. We can use that for other projects in the future. That's perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm happy that's done. Like, we're not even showing on stored. Yet yeah, we've got nearly 4 million already stored there. Oh, yeah, we're going to be good for power forever. Um, I took a stack of lithium out of this thing. And we're working on the other stack now. Like, we've got so much lithium. It's going to bode well for the future. Okay. Uh, there's some more lithium. All right, <clears throat> so, I mean, the first thing that we needed, and this was something I did a couple of episodes ago, we need plastic, which means we need dry rubber, which means we need tiny dry rubber, which comes from the latex processing unit, which over here I've got a fluid extractor, which I'm filling a basic fluid tank with. So now we need the latex majobi thing. 
in order to get the mob crusher fluid extractor that's the one no we got that so in order to get this in order to get dry rubber in order to, we need this okay so a pity machine frame we're missing a redstone block so that's fine god we're gonna need to go mining for um not what we need it's not what we need this is what we need i'm going to um add that over there we need this we need this we need a bucket of water and a bucket of so we make a furnace and we should be good so we're going to need a couple of buckets one bucket actually got one here and then what i'm going to need to do is um get some water and this one okay and then that latex so you just put a piece of wood in front of it and it like extracts this latex stuff what i'm gonna do is just put that down there uh take a bucket and then break it put that back into there where it'll fill back in and we're gonna be using that latex in a minute anyway all right, so latex processing unit. We got all the stuff now. Um, if I put him here, gonna power that too. Yes. <clears throat> so if I do a thing here and just like. Does it need water too? I'm assuming it needs water too. Okay. Um Just checking we didn't have a tank with water in already. But we do have a tank with water in already. I know we do. Right there. Okay. All right. And that uses 900. Okay, so if I just, um, you know, do the thing and... Uh, that build it uh i could do that with a um input i guess uh i've got mechanical pipes haven't i Yeah, let's give this a go, shall we? And um, try and get this to work properly. If we do this, we use our configurator. Turn that into an X. And that fills into there. It's good. And we want water to. All from the top and we do this just directly no annoying okay um, it's all getting way more complicated than I had planned but then we'll stick that on there and then we'll tail that to pull and that fills up with water now we're processing latex. <coughs> All right. Now I can take that and I can put that back in there. That's good. I want 18. 
I believe. Yeah, I want 18 to make two bits dry rubber to make this thing. But then I need the, uh, a dissolution chamber. This is getting complicated. All right, so that's that. That's not too much of a problem, but I do need more plastic. The advanced machine for, and pink slime. The so first I'm gonna need the mob slaughter factory. Okay, so mob slaughter factory is gonna be the first stop to get pink slime. Go gear. All right. Cool. Um, so we can do this. Go one, two. All right. And then we just uh, cook this. Okay, so we got plastic, so we want the mob slaughter factory. We want a gold gear. Hold on. Is that two iron swords? Yes, it was. One, two. An axe. Two axes. One of these pity machine frames, which is going to need a redstone block. And then we should have all of that. All right, this could be interesting. So um, we're probably going to need a flux point, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. Uh, point. Going to need a block of redstone. Also going to need an eye of ender. Okay, so we can make these make this and I'm gonna go up to the surface uh, that way we're gonna have to sleep of course Oh my god, look at all those dudes. Alright. Not even a worry, bro. Not even a worry, and I don't want any of your crap either. See you later. Launch pad. Oh, wandering traders standing by. This could be interesting. Um, all right. So if we place. Okay, so. The grinds in front of us. So if we give this a uh, cheeky bit of power. Meat and pink slime. All right, now I did make this in between episodes. It's a really easy uh, recipe. I'll show you it in a minute, but what it does allow me to do is um, pick up mobs. So um, if I pick up you, and then I'm just gonna sort of, you know, put you there. Wow, he got deleted. Liquid meat and pink slime. Yeeted and deleted. Okay. Um, well, I guess that gives us reason to start breeding a bunch of sheep. So we'll take some of the wheat that we got. And uh, if this wasn't crowded enough already...
Yeah, I think they've all been fed. Okay. Oh, they disappeared. All right, so we know what we need to do to get the pink slime. So that's a good thing, I guess. Uh... Dead. 320 miller buckets of that. Okay, so we got the mob slaughter factory. That's a good thing. Um, this is a little bit of a neighbor. We've got that. Got that. We need the dissolution chamber in order to make this, and we need 500 miller buckets. So I just need to kill two more sheep in order to have enough for the dissolution chamber. In there. So um, we're just going to, uh, you know, do the murder thing two more times. Die. Sorry, I'm stealing some of your parents. No doubt. You will grow to replace them. Kill it. All right. All right, so we've got 640 mil. Um, in the meantime... I don't quite really want you to um, continue using my energy, although it doesn't seem to be. I guess that's just the timer. Yeah. No, it doesn't use energy wells. It's just sat there. Okay, that's a good thing. All right. Um, good. So we've got the pink slime. So now we need the dissolution chamber. So we need a couple more plastic. So we're going to go back down. There. See how we're getting on here. Okay, we're out of latex, unsurprisingly. Uh, that's full. All right, so we'll just stick him there. Let that go drain in you can start processing that again uh that can go in there back to the latex okay and we're gonna do a couple more of these solution chamber so we got that we got that we got them probably got that we probably don't have this that diamond gear should be good yep all right we're gonna need a tank Get one of these. We we'll have tanks for everything. I swear to God, by the end of this. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna need uh, another. No, I'll take that flux point from up there. Okay. Yeah, let's just manage what we're doing here for the minute, just for the episode, until we find a permanent place for this stuff. So let's take that. mean um like all our power runs are just hidden behind walls so it's like kind of a little bit tricky uh we can go there all right so in order to yeah we can make that that's fine the mob duplicator The advanced machine frame, so never right, never right. Simple machine frame requires latex.
So that's fine. And this is fine. Never break. That's easy. So that just requires latex. I'm going to turn them off. Fluid output. Whatever. Um, Alright, so we need some latex. So we're going to... You would have got 42, seriously? Alright. Okay, so now you've got enough in there for that. Okay, uh, so... You... Need two plastic. Two never brick. Right, old gear. Got some more of that. Uh, we should be good for two plastic. Yep. So we can smell that. Take these. Good. Okay. Uh, uh, you never break. You need a pity machine for it. Again. Okay. Need a gold gear again. Yep. Two iron and two never brick. Good. All right, let's do this thing and see what happens, shall we? Like that, like that, like that, and like that. Yep, it's cooking. <coughs> All right, that gave us our simple, which is perfect. Um, I'm gonna take this, put it in there, which means this should empty it. That's what we need. Right in there. Some latex. So now we get our pink slime. Hey. Okay, so um there's nothing. There we go. So there's our pink sl dude. You're a funky looking guy. And you. My God, look! It's night of the living dead. Is there any more? All right, so we got our pink slime. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to get this crap out of my inventory. So that, fine for now. This doesn't need to be in here right now. Fine. That can go away. 
All right. Uh, okay, so this time we need to have pink slime in there. Yes. Two plastic, two neverite, two gold. Two plastic, two neverite, two gold. Uh huh. Uh. uh that into there. Go back into there. Wow, that uses a lot of water. Look at it. I wonder how much we've got. Probably not enough for the two plastic. 18? Oh, look at that. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Uh, smelt this. Okay. Never right. Got a lot of that. Gold. Uh, diamond gear, wasn't it? What was the final thing? The simple machine frame. I think we're good. Got the pink slime. Uh, simple machine frame. Never right. Gold. Plastic. It's cooking. Beautiful. And that's how you make an advanced machine frame. Allegedly. Alright, so... Pink slime. It's gonna stick that tank out by here. So I know what's going on. Uh huh. All right, we got one advanced machine frame. What do we want to do first? Probably the mob duplicator. means we need two more plastic. Have we got magma creams? No, how do we make them? Like that? Okay, problem solved. We're gonna need six plastic, which means we're gonna need a lot of latex. Um. We want to make the mob imprisonment tool as well. Let's see what we could get done in the next few minutes. All right, how are we doing for latex? Probably not great. Ah. No, 588. I mean, can we? Do the thing. Yeah, we can. Now a stripped birch log. I'm not sure what that means, but probably means we're going to need a new birch log soon. All right. Uh, nope. Yep.
Left click to fill. There we go. All right, we're going to need a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, we're going to need some more water. All right, so you're empty, so you can go. Yeah. Meant to be the advanced one, but whatever. Um, so I put some birch logs in here because I knew this was going to be a thing. That's okay, so we could just uh, see how much we can suck out of this damn thing. Got 32 out of there so far. Okay. We're still at six and a half hours, so we're maintaining. Okay, we're up to a thousand. So we got 44, 6 times 9, 54, we need 10 more. Uh, we got water here, good. Go. Go. Uh, latex. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. But we're good. <coughs> that it. Another thousand. We can stick that there. That will feed in. Uh, we can speed this up. All right, we got enough. We got enough for what we need to do. Uh, didn't mean to do that. All right, rubber, my rub. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right. That way. <coughs> Have we got never war? Yes, seven. All right. Um, then we should be good. Yeah, yeah. And then we want a mob imprisonment tool. Yep. And I guess we go and do the test that I wanted to do just to round off this episode. Okay, so we're at daytime now. Uh, what I want to do is just stick you there and then we're going to give you power. Okay, cool. needs essence and that is what we need the mob crusher for okay so that's going to be next episode mob crusher but what i wanted this for specifically is we're going to go and get an endyman From the Walt Forest.
Where you at, Enderman? There we go. Hi. Thanks. Uh, Herm. And what I do is I stick that in there and then it just requires essence. Okay, so we've done that, that, that. We're getting through the list pretty good. Uh, so the next thing to do is make another mob duplicator, I guess, and have one. So I have one just spawning. Let me just see. Yeah, so the output from that is essence. So that just spawns. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll have the killer thingy my jobby on if I go uh, industrial all going okay mob detector fluid sieving bot breaker block mob duplicator with a builder plant gatherer sewer but uh, fertilizer mob slaughter factory is that the one we already got yeah that's that one that's the one that gives us liquid meat what the hell does liquid meat get turned into no idea all right and then we've got the mob crusher which crushes everything into essence. I kind of want to look at the book. Okay, so we haven't made that book yet. Although I think we have. Um, Laser drill, blah, 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 washer factory. Nope. <clears throat> spawn mobs. When provided with power, essence, and any entity in a mob that will spawn them around it, it will count the entities nearby and stop if there are too many. Okay. So... We'll place uh... a... Alright, mob spawn. Processes mobs and animals into liquid meat and pink slime. The mobs killed by this machine will not produce drops or experience. Okay. Mob crusher. Machine used to kill mobs as if a player would, producing drops and essence. Okay, so they produce drops and essence. Gotcha. Drops are directly created from the mob loop pool. This machine has ultimate mode. Instead of generating essence, it will generate drops with random levels of fortune. Okay, so that's next is the mob crusher. And then we want one of them going for another spawner that is doing something else. Probably zombies or something like that. Um, drops and essence. And then we'll just like let the drops just what, I mean we can void them to a bin. That's fine. Um, but the essence is the important part. And then the essence will pipe, pipe into the enderman one. Okay, that's good. So... I know roughly how I'm going to set this up now, and the other thing I did off, off episode, two episodes ago now, 
is I went underneath and set up another layer down. And this is where we're gonna set up our spawners. Right down here, spawners and killers. And I'll expand this out and do all the thing. So that's it for this episode. We're on our way to um, creating a spawner killer ender pearl generator is basically what I want because I'm starting to think about going to the end. Now, yeah. And then once I've sort of found the end portal and then the ender dragon thing, then I'm gonna upgrade the reactor to um, reinforce level so I can make it bigger, use proper coolant. Oh look, we got a sliver of our energy in there with 80 million our like forge energy. <laughs> it's just an insane amount of energy. It's like this is the most basic one you can make as well. But like advancing through this and getting through fission energy and then finally the fusion energy and stuff, we're gonna need a big boy one of these in the future. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm a tech mod person more than a magic mod. You probably figured it out by now. I play with the magic mods a bit to get certain things. Like this is the uh, Sojourner Sash that I'm running around with now. Help me run a bit faster. But like, I'm a tech guy. You know, and once we set up some serious auto crafting and stuff, um, and make more progression with uh, mechanism, especially with this thing, and um, get to all tripling and quadrupling through splitting different things. I know we've got to run um, lithium through a, um, like if I look at it here, that's empty. Why? Oh, yeah, you're empty because this is filling. Um, if we condensate it liquid lithium <coughs> there are uses uh, I think we um, do brain actually I think it's the brain um, even though he's basically empty right now yeah so brain through the electrolytic separator it gives us sodium and chlorine and that starts us down a whole other path. Yeah, sodium and chlorine. The brine in there makes that. Yeah, we know that. But then sodium could get turned into liquid sodium, which then gets. To, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah, fissile fuel. So we need like sodium, fissile fuel. Uh, fissile fuel is reprocessed fissile fragments which are done in the chemical injection chamber with hydrogen and chloride. We make that with hydrogen and chlorine. Chlorine is made from liquid chlorine. Chlorine. Yeah, so there you go, chlorine and sodium. And then that's used with hydrogen to make hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is then mixed with, if we go back a step here. Yeah, the hydrogen chloride is then mixed with plutonium pellets to make the fissile fuel. Plutonium pellets we get from any liquid and plutonium. Plutonium we get from nuclear waste. <clears throat> yeah so fissile fuel we get from uranium hexafluoride which is hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide it's just gonna get real complicated real quickly and uh, it'll take us a while to work through that but i enjoy that stuff the complicated stuff but uh, this setup here to just to get lithium was like enjoyable the whole reactor induction matrix we're working towards a big mechanism space we're gonna need so yeah look forward to that but as always until next time please thank you for watching and please stay safe <laughs>